Welcome to RAH RF409, Receiver Transmitter and Transceiver Architectures course, where you will learn the fundamental topics needed on a way of becoming a radio frequency design engineer and landing a job in companies like Apple, SpaceX, Qualcomm, and Broadcom, and designing ICs going inside phones and laptops or systems going into satellite and planes. My name is Atasar Rafinejad and with my colleague and course advisor Asan Goncha I would be leading you through this course. I began my career as a research assistant during my PhD studies. Later on I moved from academia to industry as an RF and analog design engineer designing power amplifiers and low noise amplifier ICs. My course advisor Asan Goncha has more than 5 years RF design and test experience in the industry working at top semiconductor companies such as Broadcom and Qualcomm designing RF filter and bringing up of modules going to Lasus phones, laptops and other consumer electronics. The ideal student for this course is an electrical engineer, computer science student planning to become an expert in RF and land a job in the RF field or engineers and employees of the communication and radio frequency related companies who want to boost up or refresh their knowledge on the topics. In the first part of our course, we are going to talk about receivers. So you will be introduced to different receiver structures and down conversion methods. Each structure is explained in details with figures and animations. We are going to have numerous examples and figures. Advantages and drawbacks of each down conversion approach is explained and solutions are provided for some problems. In the second part, we are going to talk about the transmitter. So you will see that what kind of structures we have for transmitter and what kind of up conversion methods we have. As well as the first part, we are going to explain each architecture with figures and examples. We are going to talk about the advantage and disadvantage of each method and each system. As a last part, we are going to talk about transceiver. We are going to show that the transmitter is a combination of transmitter and receiver. We will show different transceiver systems and different examples.